On today's episode, we are taking a look at child welfare in Kentucky and breaking down the data that says for the first time in the history of the National Kids Count data book, Kentucky's economic well-being as it relates to kids is on the rise. To discuss more on this topic is Eric Clark, Commissioner of the Department of Child-Based Services and Dale Suttles with Sunrise Children's Services. Uh, welcome to you both to In Focus, Kentucky. Thanks Thank for, for having us. us. And we'll start with you, Commissioner Clark. Let's start uh, by talking about the out-of-home uh, care options in Kentucky. Uh, how important are these to the overall child welfare and uh, children's well-being? So when you talk about child welfare, that is a spectrum in full uh, that includes prevention services in a, in a family's home. There may be a risk factor that leads a family or a child to the attention of the Commonwealth, and we can step into a home and prevent uh, a, a bad outcome or uh, address that risk factor all the way up to adoption, foster care, kinship care, relative placement. So when you talk about child welfare in the Commonwealth, it is a full-blown spectrum that's inclusive of a lot of many different things. One of the things that I'll share um, is that in the Commonwealth, we are currently at record highs on the number of kids in our foster care system. We are approaching right at 10,000 children in our foster care system in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. That's a record high. Uh, it leads to high caseloads. It leads to kids lingering in the system. Our, our child welfare system is overwhelmed. And I can talk further about those challenges. But child welfare is a spectrum uh, ranging from prevention services to uh, foster care to adoption. <clears throat> and Dale, Sunrise Children's Service has been, has been at the forefront uh, here in, uh, in Kentucky uh, since uh, the 1800s, 1869 actually. Yes. Uh, so talk about how important it is to have an organization like yours to be a part of uh, this uh, conversation. Uh, child welfare has come a long way and as uh, Commissioner Clark said, um, uh, certainly a spectrum of, of services and we've come a long way over that period of time. Um, four ladies in, in Louisville at uh, Walnut Street Baptist Church in 1869 happened to see that there were orphans running around the streets of uh, Louisville with no guidance, no direction, and so on, and, and they took the opportunity to get involved, uh, to be a part of the solution. And uh, so over that period of time, since, uh, since that time to now, certainly uh, Sunrise has had that full spectrum of care, um, uh, foster care, foster to adopt, uh, we've had over 425 uh, adoptions. Uh, I just witnessed one yesterday that, that was absolutely wonderful. Um, and uh, we have uh, in-home facility care, residential care for, for, those, uh, for those clients that, that need specific treatments. Uh, we have six of those facilities across the state. Uh, but when uh, Commissioner Clark talks about uh, prevention services, uh, we have something called uh, family services, community services, where we actually have a, a, a team of folks that will go in and try to do prevention, try to keep these families together working as a unit and, and really do an assessment of what is going on in that family unit and try to give some wraparound services to, to, to uh, keep that child in the home. So Sunrise uh, has that full uh, range of, of spectrum of services and um, uh, will continue to provide those and, and uh, you know, sort of uh, give folks what they need as, as time goes by. And Commissioner Clark, um, uh, it's not an issue that's unfortunately going to go away, but uh, what are you all doing to kind of address this here in the state of Kentucky? Uh, the issues that we're looking to address, uh, record highs, these are data informed goals. We can track this over time. The solutions that we put in place to address them is kind of wide open in a way, and we can be as innovative as we want, and we're teed up with some great opportunities, streamlining uh, the foster care and adoption process, also to fund prevention services to prevent kids from coming into foster care in the first place. All right, well, we appreciate both of you all joining us appreciate here on the program mind. today. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Now, that's it for today's program. Thanks so much for watching In Focus Kentucky. Don't forget, you can go online right now and see this or any past episodes of In Focus on our website, spectruminfocus.com. And as always, you can continue the conversation with me on social media all week long as well. Until next time, have a great week.